In episode 3 of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Daryl and Isabel go inside a rundown theater to meet with a musician who might have access to a radio. Daryl and Isabel discover that he has been putting on a rather disturbing show, as we see walkers on the stage tied to instruments and performing a tone-deaf show. Daryl says it's a stupid detour, and they leave. Outside the theater, Sylvie sees a walker slowly approaching her, but she struggles to shoot it, so Daryl steps in and shoots the walker in the head. The group arrives in Paris, and the city is as run down as expected. Walkers appear around the city, but not as many as expected. The group travels through a cemetery, and Daryl spots and points out musician Jim Morrison's grave. Laurent tells Daryl that he won't die in Paris like his musical hero. A man called Fallu and his group stop Daryl and company in their tracks. Isabel tells him Father Jean sent them and Fallow sees Loron and knows he's the child he's been waiting to meet. The groups join forces at the rooftop community and introduce Daryl and Isabel to Antoine, who takes charge of communication in the community. Daryl discovers this communication is through a pigeon, not a radio. The group is strangely obsessed with Loron, giving him supplies and food, and seems to worship the ground he walks on. Codron is at Maison Mir the headquarters of a place where experiments are done on walkers. Janet isn't aware of who he is, but after he gives her information on Daryl, she hires him. They both watch as a scientist does an experiment on a variant walker. The walker breaks his chains and runs into a glass wall, his brain exploding. Isabel and Daryl return to her old apartment, which has been looted. They leave, and flesh-burning walkers begin dropping from the top-floor apartments. Next up, the group heads to the catacombs to reach their ultimate destination, a black market nightclub called the Demimond. They speak to someone about a boat, and they promise to give them a connection in exchange for drugs Isabel found at her old apartment. A fight breaks out, and Quinn from the previous episode's flashback appears. It turns out he's the owner of the club. Quinn is suspicious of Isabel when she tells him she's now a nun. It turns out that Quinn is Lawrence's father and is not happy that he wasn't told. The revelation is that he had an affair with Lily while he was in a relationship with Isabel. She didn't know about the affair, but wouldn't have told him about Lauren even if she did, for the safety of the boy. Quinn thinks she has a debt to pay to him because he saved her from killing herself. The episode review this episode is fairly slow as the season goes through a transitional phase with Daryl and the rest of the group establishing themselves in Paris. It's still a decent episode with a couple of good action scenes, and a brilliant French version of People Are Strange that plays over a scene in a graveyard where Daryl finds the grave of Jim Morrison, who originally sang the song. There are some interesting plot points introduced involving variant walkers, and some revelations about Isabel's past, which confirms she is one of the most interesting new characters in the Walking Dead universe.